Hey guys! My name is Jamie Koala and this is my second tutorial on how to make band shirts not look as stupid. I'm going to start off with just a band shirt. I've already cut the sleeves off and I've already cut this part off. It's really easy. I'm sure all of you know how to do that. But you can see it's a little big on me. So we're going to start off by turning the shirt inside out. The reason I'm telling you to turn your shirt inside out is because when you sew something, you want to turn it inside out so that the seams don't show. So we're going to fit it to us inside out, and then we'll reverse it and sew the seam. So if you want to fit a shirt, you're going to grab equal amounts on each side. I think there's about like two inches. You can look specifically with this if you want, but around two inches on each side is how much I'll be taking off. You want to mark this spot on each side. I'm going to mark it with a pen. You can mark it with a pencil. Either or. So, I'm marking this to show how much fabric I want to take off. And I'm also marking it to show where my waist is because I'm marking the smallest part of my body. You're also going to want to see how much comes off everywhere else. Right now I can see there's about an inch right here. So again, I'm going to mark that. And remember, if you don't want your shirt super tight, don't take it in super tight. You don't have to, like, take it in to be exactly what your body is. If you want it to be a little looser, leave some more. And then around my upper area, we're going to mark right here. And once you take this shirt off, you might notice that your markings are not exactly correct. So if you just make the shirt inside out, I'll show you in a second, then you can mark them and make sure your lines are right before you start sewing. Okay, so my shirt's still inside out, and I can see where my pin marks are, and they are pretty messed up. So what you want to do is leave your pins in and then make sure your shirt is folded directly in half. Well not directly in half but exactly over each other so when you sew your seam it's not messed up. So you can always just mark where you want to mark like oh here's where my measurements were to mark. Again, make sure it's exactly folded in half, otherwise your shirt will come out warped. And you'll be bad at me because I messed up your nice band shirt. Okay, so mine is definitely in half right now. And you can see my marks like this, right here, here, and here. So I'm taking off a lot of fabric, and then I'll be sewing like this. So mine kind of goes in more around the waist and then comes out around the hip. Same idea on this side. That's the line I'll be sewing is right here. I'm not going to make you sit through me sewing. But, um, so now we have our two seams. Make sure you sew two just in case. So you want to sew two seams so that your shirt doesn't pop hole in it when you're wearing it and then come unraveled. Then you're going to chop off the rest. Another really important thing is make sure you try your shirt on before you chop this part off because if you do sew it too tight, you can still undo the stitching and then re-sew it. So check your shirt before you cut. So once you cut, you're screwed. You're not getting your shirt back. As you guys can see, this shirt is definitely now fitted to me. Um, it looks a lot more girly, at least I think so because it's showing off my girlish figure. Yeah, I just went there. You just don't follow me. Don't follow my channel. But if you want to, you can. It's like right here. Or over there. I don't know, because this film's backwards. Anyway, that's my video. Check out my website, koalaartanddesign.com. I'll list it in the comments. I make cool stuff if you don't think this is cool. Just kidding, kind of. Anyway, peace out, guys. That was really dumb. All right, see you guys. That was also really dumb. I'm not going to say bye to you anymore because I don't even know how. So, make cool shirts.